I'm Nikki and I'm one of the exercise physiologists with the Cardiac Rehab team at UHNM. When the heart is unable to pump the blood around the body effectively, several changes can occur that lead to a reduction in exercise tolerance. A reduction in blood flow to the tissues and muscles within the body means that they become less efficient at using oxygen effectively. Skeletal muscles can become weaker and the fibre types that make up these muscles can start to change. Our muscles are made up of two fibre types, slow twitch fibres and fast twitch fibres. Slow twitch fibres allow us to move or exert ourselves for longer periods of time before becoming fatigued and for this reason they require a rich oxygen supply. Fast twitch fibres allow us to perform short powerful bursts of energy but therefore they become fatigued quicker. During heart failure, the slow twitch fibres can start to change to become more fast twitch fibres, meaning that you can become more fatigued quickly. Muscle mass and strength reductions happen more quickly with heart failure. As we age, we will all start to lose muscle mass and strength through a process known as sarcopenia. And the older we get, the more muscle mass and strength we'll start to lose, meaning that we must work harder to maintain our strength. When patients suffer with heart failure, this process happens much more quickly. Due to these changes within the muscles of the body, patients can become deconditioned and find it harder to perform activities of everyday living without becoming breathless. As a result, some people can become reluctant to exercise for fear of bringing on the feeling of breathlessness. This can start a vicious cycle leading to further reductions in exercise capacity. Cardiac rehab is known to improve exercise capacity and quality of life minimise heart failure progression and readmissions and lower mortality in patients suffering with heart failure. Through regular exercise training, we can help to improve the size, strength and efficiency of the muscles and alter the fibre types within, alongside improvements in the hormonal system which help to regulate blood pressure. This helps to improve the efficiency of oxygen consumption within the body, meaning that you can perform exercise for longer periods of time. The more efficient we get the muscles within the body, the more this helps the heart and vice versa. This can lead to an improvement in symptoms such as less breathlessness, less fatigue and less fluid retention and overall a much improved quality of life. Patients with stable chronic heart failure can achieve significant improvements in exercise capacity with an appropriate exercise regime. Cardiac Rehab also provides valuable emotional and psychological support through regular follow-ups. This can be extremely important following your diagnosis and help you on the way to recovery. You will be regularly assessed for any changes in symptoms such as fluid retention, breathlessness, dizziness or palpitations and directed to the necessary services if appropriate. There will be a focus on changing any modifiable behaviours such as improving diet, reducing alcohol intake and quitting smoking. We will aim to help improve diabetic control and all of these things can be vital in helping your heart to recover. There are various exercises that can help, from cardiovascular exercises such as walking or resistance-based exercises such as light weights. Exercises can be completed in a continuous fashion or via an interval approach. Each patient is different and it is important to follow an appropriate exercise regime set out by a qualified clinical member of staff. Your heart failure team will refer you to the cardiac rehab team who are experts in this and will guide you through a personalised exercise programme that is safe and appropriate for you. It is important to speak with a member of the cardiac rehab team before undertaking any independent exercise. This is because there are other factors to consider, such as the effect of medications, symptom changes, or what to do if you feel unwell. More information can be found on the UHNM cardiac rehab team's Facebook page, or you can contact the team directly. You can also find more information about cardiac rehab and other cardiac conditions via the British Heart Foundation website.